Hi, I'm Chef Marty Mangiello again, and during a long and distinguished career in the United States Navy, uh, both underwater and above water, I served at the White House, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and a number of war zones. I've cooked for a king, several presidents, and a pretty precocious four-year-old. Throughout my career, I've been the manager at Camp David, the resort, and the executive chef to the President of the United States there. And now, thanks to Ingalls, I'm going to cook with you and share some great recipes that you're going to love. Today, my wife Stormy and I own and operate the Inn of the Patriots, ranked as the number one bed and breakfast in the world for history. And Stormy's also a disabled military veteran and an amazing chef, and she's the love of my life. So together, we cook up some pretty fantastic dishes. Now today, we're starting out at Ingalls and getting the ingredients to make fresh swordfish steaks with my famous Maui food salsa. And here's what we need. Four swordfish steaks, all right, from the Ingalls seafood counter. Beautiful fish in that counter behind the glass. And we're gonna use a teaspoon of ground ginger and the garlic powder, half a teaspoon. And also, we do want a half teaspoon of the minced garlic. Um, some soy sauce, and if you want to use a low sodium, feel free. Lara Lynn has a great light. I know everybody's trying to cut down on the sodium. V8 Fusion Mango Juice. Love that peach mango. And the last item is honey. Now, for the salsa, this is going to be rather easy. We are going to have a green onion. We've got the Vidalia onion, which is sweated. The mango. The red pepper, which is sweated. One can of the dull crushed pineapple. I was also keeping the juice in the bottom for the salsa. And the last one, my favorite, two kiwi diced up. Remember everybody, this is on the website at ingles-markets.com. So you can print a list or take it with you and pull it up on your phone while you're at the store. Now let's get cooking. All right, let's put that marinade together. Pretty easy to do, okay? Start there with the V8 Fusion Peach Mango. We've got Mr. Soy Sauce. Kind of a sweet and sour. We're going to sweeten it up. Local honey, we said. You have to lift it all the way up as high as you can with the arms. Okay. Get a good drain out of there. I want you to try that at home, okay, please. Usually, on the bottom of the screen, they'll have, don't try this at home. I want you to try doing that. If you get it all over yourself and the table and your legs and carpet, um, you could just be cleaning it up for a day or two. There's nothing wrong with that. Having a little bit of fun down on your kneecaps. Got the garlic. Got the other garlic. Got the ginger. Okay. Let's stir him around. Now's not the best time in the world to be stirring real fast. It tends to splash all over the place. Just stir it. Try to get that garlic. Once you get it mixed in, you'll be able to tell that the honey was mixed now. You can speed it up now, okay? Now try to stir in the middle there. And then when you go around the side, all right, put your whole skull in there. Ah, smells really good, okay? Fantastic. And now, we're gonna take the Sortius Vicious, Slippus Maximus, right in us, the Marinatus. All right, let's just dip them. He could sit in there for quite a while in the fridge if you want to. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay. Through the magic of television, we have some that are done already. Usually we go like this. Okay. All right, now, let's work on the salsa. We'll push him off to the side. Let's get a new bowl here. We said we had that pineapple. We have Mr. Kiwi. 
mango, the sweated red pepper. Let's just check it. We like to just pop them in the microwave for a minute or two, toss it, kind of soften him up. This is what sweating is designed to do. Cooking, boiling, baking, roasting, those are different things. Sweating, just slightly soft. Just check them. Okay, nice. We don't want them cooked all the way through and destroyed. Beautiful green onion. And there is the Vidalia. Now this one we did caramelize a little bit. We like the way that he looks, okay? We can just toss him around here. Beautiful color. Look at how pretty that is. It's not going to matter if we get a little bit of that honey mixed in there. We're going to be putting him on top and if you decide that you would like to have a little bit wetter salsa, you can. Okay? Uh, I didn't mention it earlier and this is kind of optional, but once I cook the fish and I put the salsa on top, you can actually decorate the fish. This is optional with a little black and white sesame seed. Completely up to you, okay? We'll just put them right there in case you decide you'd like to do that. We've got some of that beautiful jasmine rice here. Isn't that a pretty tray, that leaf? We're gonna put the fish right on top of that. We just did this jasmine rice. And let's get ready to turn our friend on here. Nice and hot. I've got some olive oil in there already. Might put a little bit more. And let's get ready to slip that fish in. All right, and we will cook off the fish. Okay, guys, we have got a spatula, sometimes called a spatula, and uh, the swordfish. You know, we've been just dipping it there. Nice hot, see that smoke coming off there? Nice and hot. Let's take a piece of that fish, put them in. My big tip here is um, the spatula. Make sure that he's gonna be able to get underneath there, okay? Sometimes a rubber spatula is not gonna work for swordfish. You certainly could grill this on your barbecue grill, out back. Put them right there in the oil. All right, let's get the other guys in. If at any time it seems like there's not enough oil there, feel free to put a little more. Also, one of the tips to be successful Check him, make sure he's not sticking and burning. Let's get that last one. Right there. Also, I like to look at my fish. I wanna see what's happening. I'm just gonna flip a piece to take a look at him, okay? And did you notice how when I flipped them, I threw them into that curve, okay? Rather than flipping them freehand and let them splash into the oil, which will shoot all over the place, watch this again. I'm going to throw them into the curve, see that, and slide them down. Okay, looking pretty awesome. A lot of restaurants you go to, this fish nowadays, it's nouveau to do them to where the fish is somewhat raw in the middle, okay? Not a lot of people like that. They're at a fancy restaurant, it's your anniversary, you're paying a lot of money. It may come out like that slightly raw in the middle. This is a new Nouveau American cookery thing. All right. So depending on how you like them, cook them longer or shorter, but generally just a couple of minutes uh, and you can feel them like this if he's done already or not, okay? I like the way these are coming out. 
Let's just take a look at what's going on under there. Looking very nice. Don't be afraid to flip them. Just to check them and feel them. And we're almost done already. How about that? Not a long dish to do. Let's just take them. I'm going to go on ahead for the optional black sesame seed and the white. There we are. Look at this. I just spread them out with your hand, okay? We can take those pieces right there. Put them into the black first. Okay. We're done with our friend. Let's turn them off. Goodbye, little friend. All right. Mr. Marinade, done. Let's just take a piece. We've got some of the black. Let's get some of the white. Put him on, decoratively arrange him on a beautiful platter at home. The black and the white sesame seed. Doesn't need to be perfect. If you're unhappy with the way it looks and you're like, man, I wish that would have had a little more on there. Just couldn't get it on like he did on TV. Okay, here, just grab some. You know, the guy was the White House chef. That's why it looked so awesome on TV. Just get a little more. The black and the white sesame seed. You can hook it up, make it look perfect. Let's bring in that beautiful salsa again. Huge serving platter here. Rice is nice and warm. The Polynesian salsa or the Maui salsa. Here we go. Burning hot, ice cold. Okay, fantastic. Let's put some of that down. And let's just have it dance right across here like this. Anybody been to Hawaii? Anybody ready to go to Hawaii yet? Looking at this. Okay, guys on the camera crew, y'all ready to go to Hawaii? It's looking awesome. I don't know if we could have done it any better than to walk out to your friends and say, hey, yeah, here's a little fish I just whipped up for everybody to rip apart, okay? Uh, this is my swordfish. Uh, a lot of people often ask, they're like, where do, you, where do you buy all of these exotic ingredients from? Do you have to drive far to like a main city? I'm like, no, I just go right up the street here to the Ingalls. They're like, really? You could buy all of this stuff? that you made today. I'm like, yep, it's just, it's just right here, right up the street to Ingalls. Um, they have all this stuff there, guys, simple ingredients at Ingalls, just looking and knowing where to look and get them and some great ideas at Ingalls Table. So we're out of time for today, but we want to thank you again for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Remember that you can find this recipe, this awesome recipe, videos, photos, and more on the website at www ingles-markets.com. Again, that's www.ingles-marketsplural.com. Until next time, we'll see you online.